Hi everybody. Uh, so it is a splendidly nasty day today. It's raining and it's stormed all night and uh, I have a date tonight with my husband. It's totally normal. It's a husband date night thing. And so um, and so I'm taking a break on my face today. I have no makeup on uh, because I will be putting makeup on later tonight. And so I thought that this might be a really good time to talk about some products that I use to keep my skin uh, however it is that I like it. Um, yeah, so let's like dive right in, right? Um, let's see what we're going to talk about first. Okay, well, I've talked about this a couple of times before, and so it shouldn't be a too big of a shocker, but I'm going to talk about mm, butt paste. Okay, so this is, uh, it's a baby diaper rash cream, and it comes in this, which is the original that you can see that I have almost completely depleted. That this was originally purchased for my children. This is the maximum strength, 40% zinc oxide. Uh, and so this was originally purchased for my children who did not have uh, very crazy diaper rash issues. So there was a lot of it and uh, I had read on somebody's blog that they had used it for treating acne and other things. And so I started trying it and it's quite amazing. So I started using this but I have since turned over to this gigantic tube. Now this is the natural version so I don't all natural diaper rash ointment, skin protecting, zinc oxide, blah, 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 blah. I do think that maybe it's perhaps that this might have worked better for the acne stuff, but let me talk to you about that. That is, uh, like if you have eruptions or something that's coming, like you can feel the bump under your skin, you put some of this on at night because the this stuff is very white, very opaque. So uh, you would only want to do it at night whenever you're not going to be seeing too many people. Uh, but you just put it on and, you know, like, leave a little on there. And then, uh, I don't know, it it doesn't make it go away necessarily, but sometimes if you have, like, the deep cystic acne, like sometimes I get, uh, it'll really help it. It speeds up the process. So you have something that, like a cyst cystic acne, you can get something that's under there and it's painful, and it might last for, jeez, like a week, two weeks maybe, you know, it's, forever and this stuff it gets it done in like a day and a half so it really speeds up the process it's uh I don't know it's enjoyable I I I really love it I I really love all of it but so this uh not only do I use it for the acne but I also use it for uh any skin wound or burn or whatever anything this is it. This is it's amazing, and uh, and I wish it wasn't called butt paste, but it makes it easy to find. However, uh, so this stuff you can find in any store, like a Walmart or a Target or a Walgreens, whatever. This guy I had some trouble finding. Uh, the original is you know in the less than five dollar range. This guy I think you can find easily at Babies R Us, but I don't have a Babies R Us like next door. So I actually bought mine on Amazon and it was, this whole big tube was 10-ish dollars, like nine dollars and something cents. Uh, and on Prime, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. So, there's that. Okay. Um, similar, uh, I'm going to talk about this. This is not a new thing at all, but I can't tell enough people the good things about the Gold Bond uh, Ultimate Skin Therapy Lotion for Healing. This, okay, so I have always uh, had really dry feet, cracked, calloused, uh -huh, so gross. And uh, I do enjoy a pedicure, a good pedicure from time to time. And it was always incredibly embarrassing to go in there. And then they would use that razor blade thing and take, oh, it's, oh, it's awful. And I don't care if they only speak Vietnamese, it's... It's embarrassing. So, uh, I have tried every lotion that has ever existed that claim to take care of all of that crap, and they're lies. They're all completely lies. I have never had success. Here's, for instance, here is a lotion that I just bought recently because they I couldn't find the one I like. Uh, this is, uh, it's the Up and Up, which is the Target brand of the Vaseline Intensive Rescue. It does not work. This does not work. 
it barely it makes me greasy I don't know and it does nothing for my feet uh, like three days of putting lotion on my feet with that stuff and they were already getting calloused and cracked and whatever this gold bond ultimate and even the up and up version of this that I haven't been able to find lately because I was buying the up and up version uh, the Target brand version for a while and it worked just as well but I can't find it anymore so now I'm back to buying the full price gold bond ultimate lotion this is the shit that works so um I buy it in the giant family size and it's pricey I think this is like 13 ish dollars for the big guy but I mean it's not it's not a cheap lotion and it's thick um yeah sure see it's a thick can you, oh wrong camera okay put my dark shirt behind it it's a thicker lotion but it does not leave you greasy or anything I Wipe the excess on my leg. It's it's like a silky smooth kind of feeling whenever it's all done, and uh, like I'll wash my hands afterwards and it's completely gone. But it's it's the shiznizzle. Everything everything is better whenever I'm using that. My cuticles are better. My feet are like babies' butts. It's it's amazing. And please just go buy it and try it if you have some cracked foot issues, especially in the summertime because whenever I start wearing sandals and stuff, you just forget it. Forget it. Okay, this is something. Just last week, this was crazy. Okay, so just last week I was talking about. Let me see if I have my other thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just last week I was talking about how uh, I use EOS uh, chapsticks, and I like them. I like them just fine. They're perfectly great. But that I wished, because uh, what I really prefer are soft lips, because soft lips uh, really do make my lips soft and especially whenever I'm using lots of lip stains in a week time my lips start to feel really raw and so I really prefer the the soft lips uh, for what it does for my actual lips and I was just saying last week that I wish that soft lips came in a tube like this because I will use EOS as long as it comes in this ball because when I'm rummaging through my purse I can find the ball really fast you're like you're digging around you're trying to feel around and you're like aha the ball Waha. whereas if I'm digging around for this, what happens is I pull out four pens before I find this, and then when I ultimately do get it out, like the cap has fallen off. And so I've got nasty chapsticky all over the place. Or or the car will get hot, and somehow the, this stuff will melt like a freaking nightmare. Anyway, so I was just saying that I wish that it came in this fall. And then I went to the store the other day, and then I see this. It's a soft lips, lips cube. There, there you go. Soft lips. Now, I can only find this soft lips cube in the soft mint and a pomegranate blueberry flavor. So I got the soft mint. Um, and it's lovely. Uh, it's not the coconut cream or the cherry soft lips flavors that I have loved. But this guy is in my purse now. And uh, I love it. And I'm going to keep doing my EOS because, you know... I'm going to throw it around. Uh, you know, you want to switch it up a little bit, but... Uh, so that's what I'm kind of here to tell you, is that Soft Lips comes in a cube now, and it's amazing. This was like three something, three dollars and something cents, but I had coupons at CVS, like rewards and stuff, so I didn't pay anything for it. Did you know that at CVS, that for every fifty dollars you spend in beauty supplies, they give you five dollars of rewards to spend on whatever? It's not hard to get fifty dollars worth of beauty supplies. Um, I'm going to talk to you next. Oh, about this. This is also not a new thing. This is just something I love. This is uh, from Bath and Body Works. It's the antibacterial hand goo. Uh, antibacterial hand gel. <sighs> antibacterial hand gel. And this is the stress relief scent. And it smells like eucalyptus. Eucalyptus experiment. <sighs> so... Most of the time when people use antibacterial hand gel that smells, I want to kill them silently in their beds at night because it stinks so bad. And most of the time it's like in an enclosed space and it's awful, awful smelling uh, and it doesn't go away. I mean, have you noticed? Like, I don't know what they put in this, but they should put that in everything that they make that smells because it doesn't go away throughout the day. It stays forever. So anyway, uh, this smell actually doesn't make me hate people. This smell makes me happy and uh, is like a stress relief smell. I do feel better when I wear this. So I I buy like seven of these every time I go to Bath and Body Works. And 
uh, I'm gonna start handing them out to people <laughs> I think, because it's just it's a great smell uh, I wish you could smell it can you smell it you want to smell it <sighs> just breathe it in Hmm. Anyway. Moving on. Um. Okay, how many things? Are, I've talked about a lot of things. Okay, next I'm going to talk about primers. Skin primers, like, before makeup. Uh, I'm just recently getting into makeup a lot more. Uh, teaching myself how to makeup and things like that. And so, uh, primer is kind of a new thing for me. I've always just been kind of like a concealer, powder, eye... Thing. Uh, so I've been really investigating primers and so I've been testing a few of them and uh, uh, let's see let's see I got these the other day I mean I, these are not the ones I'm raving about but I did get in these work just fine this is the out and I'm not buying anything like super expensive yet because I don't know exactly what I want but I so I purchased this which is no Luminous Alme CC Luminous Primer, color complexion collecting correcting primer, and it's got an SPF of 15, which I thought was pretty cool, uh, because not all of them do. Actually, very few of them do have the the primer with the the SPF of 15, and this is all right. Although I, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, eh. and then I got this guy right here, which is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer, which uh, claims you can use it alone, and it does exactly what it says but this isn't very expensive what I have found and this is because I was doing a lot of research and investigation and I'm sure a lot of people do before they buy products uh, I was looking for I don't know something that felt like a protector like I want my primer to make it feel like I'm not letting everything else onto my skin uh, like I use hairspray sometimes and I feel like that just clogs everything up so uh, so what I found was this, like somebody else, uh, I don't know, a thousand other people have done blogs about these, or vlogs, or whatever. Uh, and this is <laughs> Monistat Complete Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel. Monistat. It is actually Monistat, and it took me a while to find this. Uh, everybody was talking about it, and so I went to Walmart. I went to a lot of stores looking for this. And I found it, finally I found it at two stores. I found it at Walmart and I found it at CVS. And they were both uh, with all the other Monistat products. Like I expected a chafing gel to maybe with some of the skin things or, I don't know, I looked in lots of different sections of the store, but it was actually right next to the Monistat in a box. In a box that was about this size. Um, a little wider. Uh, and they also have a Monistat Itch Really Something cream that's always right next to it. So anyway, this is primer. It's actually what I have on my face right now, which is, it's just, oh, it feels so soft. Um, so it, it is exactly what it says. It is a chasing, chafing relief powder gel. And, and I'm not the one who came up with the idea to put it on my face. Somebody else did. And they said that it was very similar to another product that I don't remember because it was, it's like a prestige version of a primer that I don't know about. Let's see if it can tell me what it has in here. Non-greasy, fragrance-free, non-irritating, non-staining, dimethicone, blah, 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 blah. There's nothing on here that's going to talk to you about what it actually is. But it's not a, like a monostat product that you use like other monostat products. This is a mono, uh, it was just for chafing. So I'm actually, tonight, I'm wearing a skirt on my date, and I'm, I've am i got a little bit of the chub rub that, you know, everybody who doesn't have a thigh gap has the chub rub where your legs, and I get a little chafe sometimes whenever we do a lot of walking, and we might be doing a lot of walking, so I'm actually going to try it as an actual chafing gel, but I'm talking about it as a primer, and it, it does work really well for that, better than those other two, and this is $5.96 at Walmart, and I think it's like $7 at CVS, uh, and they might have it at other places too. But every time I go, I'm going to st start buying some more because it's great. Yeah, and it comes in a pretty large size. What is this? 1.5 ounces as opposed to the $10 I paid for one ounce of this stuff that I don't like as much. So what are you going to do? Uh, no, but for serious, you should try to check this out because it's, um, it really, it makes me feel like there's something there, but there's nothing. I mean, it's, and it kind of did some blending. I don't know. I don't know what it did, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, okay. 
So, I think that's all I was going to talk to you about. Do, do, do. That's all the skin stuff I have. Yep. Okay. So, that's all. That's all I'm going to talk about today was just these skin products that I love and that I use and that I totally vouch for and I think you should try them too. Uh, so, alright. I'm going to go and eventually get ready for my date and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye.